Lincoln has been in trouble for ages, but their redesigned Navigator is the transformative product they have needed for literally years. It is a huge deal and a vehicle that I happen to think is single-handedly putting this struggling brand back on the map. Not only has Navigator helped usher in a return to real names, this latest iteration has done wonders to revive Lincoln's prestige. So far, deliveries are up more than 80% compared to the previous version. Beyond that, 9 out of every 10 examples sold are either reserve or black label models, the two highest trims. And this shift has increased the vehicle's average transaction price by about $30,000, a massive uptick. Justifying that pricing are newfound features, extra refinement, and more interior opulence than ever, upgrades that allow the Navigator to compete with more than just Cadillac's Escalade. Indeed, Mercedes-Benz and Land Rover owners have taken notice, as about 50% of buyers are new to Lincoln. And one thing those Conquest customers are sure to appreciate is the posh new interior, which is unquestionably this large luxury SUV's best feature. Don't believe me? Well, take a look for yourself. The Navigator's cabin is especially ritzy if you spring for one of the top shelf black label models of which three different themes are offered, including chalet, yacht club, and destination. This example is equipped with the latter of the three, which surrounds passengers in vast swathes of kaya wood and mahogany-hued Venetian leather. From the stitching on the grab handles, to the metal speaker grills, to the tape deck-inspired push-button shifter, everything looks rich and feels expensive. That horizontal dashboard design is timeless, but its 10-inch infotainment screen and abundance of features pull it right ahead to the 21st century. And I especially like that gold-flecked trim, which has been etched by a laser. Comfort is nothing short of astonishing thanks to 30-way adjustable front bucket seats that allow you to dial things in perfectly, provided you take time for fine-tuning. A $1,250 option on this black label Navigator, they're truly an outstanding feature. The second row buckets are also decidedly throne-like, with ample space in all directions and a massive center console that provides tons of storage. Lesser models feature a three-spot bench seat for added passenger space, if slightly reduced luxury. As in the previous generation Navigator, even the aftmost accommodations are hospitable, more comfortable for adults than many rival vehicles' second row seats. It's even relatively easy to get back there thanks to tip and slide second row buckets. Not surprisingly, cargo space is generous, with nearly 20 cubic feet available in the way back, or more than 100 if you fold everything flat. Of course, if that's not enough, you can always get an extended-length Navigator L with significantly more room. Their bodies are nearly a foot longer, with a wheelbase that's been stretched by more than 9 inches. Luxurious, comfortable, and spacious, really the only thing I don't like about this vehicle's interior is the overdose of chrome trim, which I think could be toned down just a little bit. Given its pickup truck bones, don't forget the Navigator rides on a ladder-style frame. It rides and handles remarkably well, and I think a lot of that is because of the independent rear suspension, which really keeps the back end of this vehicle planted and prevents it from bouncing around or shimmying from side to side when you're driving over rough pavement, which occasionally can be an issue with live axles. Now, this black label model also rolls on gigantic 22-inch wheels, and you get the impression that there is a lot of mass moving around underneath your feet. And I think if they went with a smaller, lighter wheel and tire package, this thing would ride and handle even better than it already does. At all speeds, the interior remains eerily silent, which is totally appropriate given the brand's quiet luxury message. It also encourages you to crank up the optional and awesome 20-speaker Revel Ultima sound system. 
The Navigator offers seven different driving modes with each one changing the way this vehicle behaves, adjusting the throttle tip in and engine responsiveness, transmission shift points, you know, the usual stuff. But keeping things very simple, you access all of these modes through a single control knob right down here on the center console. And as you cycle through those different driving modes, it pops up a beautiful animation in the instrument cluster to, of course, show you which mode you've chosen. It's very elegant. But let's talk about performance, of which there is plenty. Every Navigator features the same powertrain, a smooth-running 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 bolted to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, rear or all-wheel drive is offered. Output is a mighty 450 horsepower with 510 pound-feet of torque, meaning even this 5,855-pound SUV accelerates with authority. And that resourceful gearbox ensures this vehicle is never caught off guard. Like the Ford F-150, this Lincoln features lightweight aluminum bodywork, but curiously, it's only 200 or 300 pounds lighter than its predecessor, and for good reason. You see, product planners opted to reinvest about 400 pounds back into this vehicle in the form of new features and amenities to, of course, really up the luxury factor. And in this case, I think that trade-off was well worth it because the new Navigator is an absolutely dynamite vehicle. But with colossal performance comes enormous consumption. This Navigator stickers at 16 miles per gallon in city driving and 21 on the highway. Expect it to average just 18 mpg in mixed use. Steering and braking are quite favorable for a vehicle of this size and weight, though a Mazda Miata it most certainly is not. Serene, smooth, and silent. Best describe how this Navigator drives. Not sporty, sharp, or sprightly, but I'd hazard to bet you guys already knew that. You people think you know everything. <laughs> Front to back, roof to rockers, grill to hatch, stem to, stem to stern, I guess. I mean, the whole thing. This Lincoln is a seriously impressive product, and it's easily the best vehicle in their admittedly limited lineup. But before I sign off on this review, let's recap. Tying all this together with a neat little bow, the Navigator's multi-row comfort is commendable, as are its industry-leading bucket seats. The muscular powertrain, rich interior, abundance of tech, and silent running are praiseworthy attributes as well. But what could be improved? Well, the fuel consumption is frightening, and this vehicle is anything but affordable. And that's one important thing I haven't touched on yet. Pricing. An entry-level rear-wheel drive Premier model starts at $74,000, but the top-shelf black label version I've been testing this week stickers for more than ninety-six dollars including delivery fees. Yeah, that much right there. But you know something? Even at basically six figures, this Navigator actually feels worth it, which is perhaps its most surprising attribute of all. And when is the last time you could say that about a Lincoln? And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the AutoGuide.com YouTube channel to get all of our latest features and vehicle reviews.